My Bloody Valentine 2009 short movie review. A terrible mining accident kills five people and leaves only one miner alive. One year later, he wakes up from his coma and kills 22 people before he's finally brought down. Ten years after this, the killings begin again, and we're left wondering, has he somehow returned, or has someone taken over his work? Is it a copycat killer? This features Jensen Ackles, James King, and Kerr Smith, and all three do pretty reasonable Especially, you know, they're kind of playing to their strengths. Kerr's a bit of a jerk. Jensen is intense. I'm not sure what James is. The acting tends to be pretty good, and the characters are less obnoxious than usual for a slasher flick. And as a slasher flick, especially a recent one, a reimagining, it's actually pretty good. It's genuinely scary, exciting, it builds atmosphere reasonably, and you do tend to get to know the characters before they're chased and or killed off. The kills are gruesome, bloody, and at times pretty creative. The effects are great. I did not watch this in 3D, but I can imagine that it enhances the viewing experience if you at all have a chance to watch this in 3D and it's not ridiculously expensive. It does amount to a bunch of stuff being shoved at the camera, but they're somewhat clever with it, and some of the things are really, you know, it doesn't feel too staged. The overall plot is reasonable if it does have a couple of holes, and there are some soft plots that don't really go anywhere. One of the film's biggest miscalculations is the overuse of the Valentine's Day date and imagery, which never actually amounts to anything. Overall, it's a fun slasher, and, you know, it keeps you entertained for the duration. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, It'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.